welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the Kylie Jenner eyeshadows, the individuals. I've used some of her palettes like a couple of years ago on this channel. That was when I first started YouTube two and a half years ago, roughly. Anyways, now fast forward. I went ahead and, and purchased these little goodies. And so I created this eye look. Oh, it sounded like a blinker. I created this eye look using these shadows. So I used these three down here and these two here. And let me tell you, kind of disappointed. Kind of disappointed. Disappointed so much that I went ahead and put on these massive eyelashes to hide the patchiness. Yep. Massive eyelashes hide the patchiness. You're going to see, and I, I went ahead and did the tutorial, and you're going to see I just was having a really hard time. And I like to tilt my head back to look at the patchiness so I know kind of if it's patchy, where I need to fix it, etc. And I just, I don't know. I was struggling today. I don't know if it's the found, I had foundation on first and then I powdered, but I always do that. Like I never use a primer, an eyelid primer. Maybe these require an eyelid primer. So I'm not going to give up on them yet, but my first impression is I would not pay money again for the cost of these shadows to get a patchy product. And that was really kind of a bummer to me because I was going to order a bunch of them. And the reason is because her smaller palettes I had no problem with. And I don't know if I just got a bad batch of eyeshadows. But like I said, I've just got to play with these more. I, I'm just not excited about the patchiness. But at least the eyelashes cover the patchiness as I go run around and do errands today getting ready for a party. Okay, so that's kind of negative. What's the positive? The positive is you can buy her colors and singles and the colors are beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. I just hated that they didn't perform like they look. So this review is going to be really short because again, I just, I don't know. I just struggled so much with these shadows, but if you want to see how I got this like peachy ish, purplish ish, something ish eye look you're in the right spot so stay tuned if you like how the eye look came out you might want to use your own colors that are similar so i'll go ahead and still post the tutorial so you can see that but just an absolute letdown and that is not what i was expecting i was expecting to fall in love with these like i do makeup geek and then have to have all of them uh, i don't need any of these we're getting ready to use these Kylie shadows. I bought, I don't remember when I bought them, and I can't remember if I got them on sale, but I felt like I needed them. So we are going to play with these today. Ooh, there's so many looks I want to try. So little time. I believe I'm going to start with this color here, which is called Party Time. I'm using this all over the lid as a base. The next color I'm going to go in with is this one called Unwrap Me. We're putting that in the crease and a bit in the outer C. Okay, Unwrap Me is kind of patchy, kind of a lot patchy. And you can see it as I tilt my head back. I'm not sure what we're going to do about the patchiness. Let's try blending it out. Okay, that's like totally not good. We're going to go in with the color Bible. Let's hope we have better luck with that and maybe covering some of the unwrap me to get rid of the patchiness. Okay, so far I'm not overly impressed with these shadows and I really was, I guess, hoping to be. I thought that, I, I mean, I've used some of her shadows before and they work fine, so I don't understand why I'm getting kind of a really patchy look. And I feel like the more I try to fix the patchiness, the worse it gets. So I'm just going to stop on adding <laughs> more color. I am going to take this Raspberry Sugar. And since I'm having trouble with her other 
the other palettes. I'm just going to use my finger on raspberry sugar. I'm kind of glad I did not buy more eyeshadows. I was going to buy a bunch of them because in my mind, the last time I used her shadows, I, they went on great. I am really glad I didn't. I don't know why I'm having trouble today. This is my first impression. Okay, I didn't buy a light color one, so I'm going to use this light from Winky Lux. This is like my go-to when a palette doesn't have a light eyeshadow or I forget, in this case, to buy a light one. I'm going to take, even though I tight lined or did my lower lash line with the pink of me, I'm going to take the blacker and go right on the lash line. So I kind of have my lashes all in it. Then I'm going to take this kind of fluffy flat brush, picking back up the color Bible and going into the lash line, but below the lash line with it. So I'm kind of making the lash line, this Bible color a little bit darker by smudging in that black. The one thing I can say about huge lashes is it certainly hides the patchiness of eyeshadow. All right, y'all. So this is going to complete this look. I was really hoping to have a fun holiday look and it just didn't come out that way, but I just can't handle the patchiness of the shadows. Maybe if I didn't have people coming over or I wasn't doing a holiday party, that would be fine. But yeah, just not digging this eye look. So kind of depressed about these eyeshadows. I totally thought that they would have done much better, but at least I have these massive eyelashes to hide, hide it while I go run errands, etc. And I'll just come home and fix my makeup for the party. So I'll do something else. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, put any thoughts, comments, questions below because I always love to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video today using the Kylie Single Cosmetics, Kylie Cosmetics Singles. If you have bought any of these singles, I'd really like to hear what you have to say. I don't know why I was struggling so much with them today and that really hurt my feelings really really hurt my feelings because I had way high hopes on those and so that was my high hopes were dashed they were dashed but I hope you did like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend as always you have a choice make it a great one until next time why am I doing clicking noises